لِيَشْهَدُوا مَنَافِعَ لَهُمْ وَيَذْكُرُوا اسْمَ اللَّهِ وَيَذْكُرُوا اسْمَ اللَّهِ فِي أَيَّامٍ مَعْلُومَاتٍ عَلَى مَا رَزَقَهُمْ مِنْ بَيْنِ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد Dear respected brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome to this episode from this series where we are discussing the virtues of the first 10 days of the Hijjah. In one of the previous episodes, we mentioned that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasahbihi Wasallam said that there are no, good, no days in which the good deeds are more beloved to Allah Jalla than those 10 days. And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said فَأَكْثِرُوا فِيهِنَّ مِنَ التَّهْلِيلِ وَالتَّكْبِيرِ وَالتَّحْمِيدِ Or فَأَكْثِرُوا فِيهِنَّ مِنَ التَّهْلِيلِ وَالتَّحْمِيدِ وَالتَّكْبِيرِ So do plenty of tahleel saying لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير والتكبير saying الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر and tahmeed saying الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله this hadith is one of the main hadith that talk about the virtues of the first 10 days of the Hijjah. And this hadith was reported by Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Now, as a result, Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu used to act upon this hadith and he used to go to the marketplace in order to make takbir in front of the people and once the people knew about this or once the people hear the takbir of the Prophet or of Ibn Umar then they used to do the takbir in fact many of the Salaf said that they used to they means the Sahaba or the early generations used to make takbir as if the takbir becomes like the waves of the sea means everyone is doing takbir and many of the early generation said that people unfortunately left takbir now. Subhanallah, he is saying this about takbir. Of course, it is not only takbir, it is takbir, tahmeed, and tasbih, the dhikr of Allah Jalla wa'ala. People left it. In particular, the takbir people left it and they are not practicing this sunnah. He said this while he was among the early generations. Now, what do we say about ourselves these days? You rarely hear people doing this takbir, tahmeed, tasbih. Yes, maybe in non-Muslim countries, you might not be able to practice this in public spaces. Why? Because we don't want people to insult our religion if we say it loudly, if they can't, uh, if they don't understand the meaning of it. However, in some other non-Muslim countries, we can do it. In some Muslim countries, definitely we can do it. So whenever we can practice this sunnah, we should do it. In fact, we should exert our effort to practice this sunnah because Allah Jalla likes this takbir to be mentioned. And in particular, we know that when we read the ayat of Surah Al-Hajj, وَلِيَذْكُرُ اسْمَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ لِيَذْكُرُ اسْمَ اللَّهِ عَلَى مَا رَزَقَهُمْ مِنْ بَهِيمَةِ الْأَنْعَامِ وَلِيَذْكُرُ اسْمَ اللَّهِ فِي أَيَّامٍ مَعْلُومَاتٍ So they remember the name of Allah Jalla wa'ala and they mention the name of Allah Jalla wa'ala on those or during those 10 days of the Hijjah. So Allah Jalla wa'ala likes more dhikr in these 10 days and hence we should increase the dhikr and that was the habit and the custom of most of the or all the previous scholars. Now, the dhikr, we should start the dhikr in general once we know about the start of the 10 days of the Hijjah. For example, let us imagine if today is the last, din, last day of the Qadda or the 29th of the Qadda and they announce that tomorrow is the first day of the Hijjah they won't be able to announce this except after Maghrib so after Maghrib is the beginning of the month of the Hijjah so we should start 
doing takbir, the general unconditional takbir, starting that point. And remember, the dhikr of Allah Jalla wa ala is one of the virtuous, the very virtuous deeds, as we will explain shortly, insha'Allah. So, the, the, the time for the general unconditional takbir it starts once the first 10 days of the hijjah starts. And then we continue, we should continue doing this unconditional takbir all the way until the 10th day of the hijjah In fact, as many scholars said, that we should continue doing this unconditional takbir general takbir until the end of the 13th day of the hijjah day number 13 why because allah jalla wa ala mentioned ayyam ma'lumat and allah jalla wa ala mentioned ayyam ma'dudat so these are 13 days of the hijjah the first 10 days of the hijjah and the other 3 days of at tashriq allah jalla wa ala says about the first 10 days of the hijjah ليشهدوا منافع لهم ويذكروا اسم الله في أيام معلومات ويذكروا اسم الله في أيام معلومات أيام معلومات is the first ten days of the hijjah however the three days of the hijjah of تشريق after that Allah جل وعلا says in the Quran واذكروا الله في أيام معدودة فمن تعجل في يومين فلا إثم عليه أيام معدودة is the three days of Tashriq. In total, 13 days of the Hijjah. The dhikr of Allah, وعلا, the takbir, is highly recommended. Moreover, the Prophet وسلم, told us that the, la, the ayyam of Tashriq, 11th, 12th, of, and 13th of the Hijjah, are ayyam for eating and for dhikr of Allah Jalla wa ala. That's why this general unconditional takbir continues all the way from the beginning of the hijjah all the way until 13th of the hijjah. So we should remember Allah Jalla wa ala in the morning, in the evening, in public places if we can, as we just explained, within our homes, we should encourage our wives to make dhikr of Allah Jalla wa ala. We should encourage our families, our children, everyone to make dhikr of Allah Jalla wa ala and takbir. Now, many, many scholars mentioned that there is another type of dhikr. Why? Because there were reports that the companions were used to increase their dhikr and do another type of dhikr which is the conditional restricted dhikr in these 10 days when which is called the dhikr muqayyad or takbir muqayyad and it was reported by some sahaba some of the companions of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam when is this conditional restricted takbir the scholar said that this restricted conditional takbir starts for the people who are not going for hajj it starts after the fajr of the day of arafah so once we pray the fajr of the day of arafah the time for this restricted conditional takbir starts and it continues until the last day of tashriq which is the 13th of the hijjah so the first day is the day of Arafah, then the day of Eid, then day 11, 12, and 13th of the Hijjah, five days. During those five days, we do the unconditional takbir, which is takbir in, at any point of time, and as well as the restricted takbir. The restricted takbir, we do it after the salawat, in particular, the salah mafruda and in particular once we do it in congregation so once we do salah in congregation we do loud takbir that is part of the ibadah the specific ibadah during those 10 days so we after praying fajr of arafah we start doing the loud takbir after duhr we start doing the loud takbir and after uh, Asr as well, Maghrib, Isha, etc. until the 
and we continue doing this all the way of Arafah, the whole day of Arafah, the whole day of Eid, and the first day of Tashriq, which is 11th and 12th and 13th, and we stop doing this restricted conditional takbir after the Asr of the day of 13th. During these five days, while we are doing the restricted takbir, we continue doing the unconditional takbir, the general takbir. And this is the dhikr of Allah Jalla wa'ala, and this is a specific ibadah for those, for specific ibadah for those days. Now, for those people who are going for hajj, when do they start their takbir? Generally speaking, brothers and sisters, the people who are going for hajj, it is better for them to do talbiya while they are in the state of al-ihram. لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك It is better for them to do a lot of talbiya. We, if we are not going for hajj, we can't do this talbiya. Allah Jalla wa'ala gave us the opportunity to do the takbir and the other dhikr. So those people who are doing hajj, they can do the talbiya. However, once they leave the state of al-ihram, then they become like us out of the state of al-ihram, and then they should start doing the takbir. When do they leave the state of Al-Ihram? As we know that they leave the state of Al-Ihram once they start doing, uh, they leave the state of Al-Ihram after they finish stoning and cutting their uh, hair. However, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to do Talbiyah until he went to do Jamrat Al-Aqaba. Once he started to do Jamrat Al-Aqaba, he stopped Talbiyah and then after that, the Prophet ﷺ had his hair cut and he sacrificed and then he has his hair cut and then the Prophet ﷺ started to do the takbir. They can continue, the people who are going for hajj, they can continue doing the unconditional takbir as well as the conditional takbir. As we explain, they can continue doing this until the 13th of the hijjah the Asr of 13th of the Hijjah, by that time, the time for Hajj and the rites of Hajj have, generally speaking, come or came to an end. So this is the Takbir that we should increase during these 10 days. Remember, it is a very, very important Sunnah that has been abandoned and we should revive the Sunnah. It is a very virtuous Sunnah. It is dhikr of Allah Jalla wa'ala that Allah Jalla wa'ala likes the most. Jazakum Allahu khayran, barakallahu fikum, wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Labbayka Allahumma labbayk, labbayka la sharika laka labbayk, inna alhamda wa al-na'amata laka wal-mul, la sharika laka labbayk.